how would Public Enemy be today with the way music is, the way it's sort of a, we manufacture pop stars? If we came out today? Yeah. We'd be prophets of rage. You know, yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, we'd be prophets of rage, you know, making banging songs out of fearless. And I and Public Enemy released a song this past summer, and we gave it to 750,000 fans. So, I mean, look, we're worldwide, and you, music is a universal language. It's just starting to happen with national sports in this country where it's just be, being able to become worldwide. When the Dream Team was talked about as being this world phenomenon, we in music already were like, oh, here they come. They're new to the world. They're fresh, <laughs> fresh world puppies using their passports. We had just played stadiums in Barcelona, and here comes the Dream Team. And so now national sports, USA sports, are like now they're like worldwide Global. because the World Wide Web and everybody got gadgets in their pockets. They could tune in and catch the show and so on. And so, okay, we're, we're more wound together as people. Let's try to see if we can transfer peace and great understanding. It's just that the epicenter <laughs> of dumbassification happens to be, you know, <laughs> <laughs> the United States of America <laughs> with Trump POTUS. Wait, wait, is that, that sounds like the name of a song. Dumbassification. I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a lyricist. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I mean, people have, you know, and we have a lot of people worldwide that are SMDH and they're like, what's going on there? So we have to, you know, work our way. I think thinking globally and acting locally is the thing that saves us. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.